Do you have any advice for um, situations similar to this where, you know, you, there are underlying things or patterns of behavior and interaction that have been long standing? So never talk about the past, but talk, but it's not to say that we're not going to touch on it. It's simply to say that it's not going to be helpful if we go back to talking about what happened. Everybody has their different views about what happened and, and what it meant. What, what I do is speak about what's alive in me in the present moment with respect to what happened in the past. So, you know, there are things that occurred between us in our relationship that I would really like to revisit um, because of how it's impacting my relationship with you now, and I'd really like to get through it somehow. I'm wondering if you'd be open to having that conversation. So the person says yes, and I say, when I think back to this particular instance, Incident. I'm still feeling some, I feel a lot of sadness and confusion because my need to be heard at that particular point in time wasn't met. And I'd like to be heard now in terms of what it meant to me at that time. And I'd like to, I'd like to tell you how I'd like you to listen to me. <clears throat> if you hear any blame or criticism in what I say, please put, just please put your hand like this to stop me because I would like to express it just really, I'm wanting to take responsibility and I just want really wanting to be heard and connect with you in that way. So I will <coughs> ask you if you could just reflect back what you're hearing me say and if you could do that, that would be a, such a gift to me. I don't want this to be about who's right. I just want to tell you what my experience was. <coughs> okay, we'll make some agreements about how we're going to do it. Because otherwise we'll just fall back into old patterns.